my name is Meredith Bartley. I'm the director of The Sacrifice, and I want to welcome you all to the first premiere of so The Sacrifice, uh, made by your very own Sock Studios. Um, the Sacrifice follows a film crew just like our own as they battle the nastiest sock you have ever seen. Um, I hope you enjoy it. There will be more productions by Sock Studios. Thank you for your continued support.
drop my beer. This could be my big break. Uh, Bill, get over here. <laughs> Invasion of the stinky socks is definitely not in my contract. I'm out of here. If you ever want to work in this town again, you will help me get this off film. Hey, you guys need to get out now. We're locking the building down. I can't get any good shots here. Oh. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Mel, what have you done? I, I, I didn't do anything. There's some instincts around here. That's a small success. And that clock back there. Yeah, I smell something in it. Whatever, let's just focus on getting it yeah. What are we going to do? Uh, I could get some degrees? No, we must get closer. But, the, uh, uh... The camera kind of broke when Mel's average. She can through all Thank you so pixel perfect. What do you mean it broke? I mean it's like a couple hundreds of pixels. Oh, God, they're really stupid. Enough to get a despair. Uh, Mel, go get it. But it. Uh, uh, well, okay, don't worry about it. I guess I'll have to tackle one on this one. Pixel Parker goes where punk. I mean, Hank goes. No. Then I will go get the lighting boxes. So, where's the square again? In the story time area. Which is where? On the other side of the library, behind the saw. Okay. Now, here's the plan. I'll strap this off. You just run back and grab the thing. Whatever, it's fine. Pixel will help Pat. No. Pixel thinks so. Okay, just don't get hurt, yeah? Hank cares! Not even a little bit. I just don't want to be the one stuck cleaning you up. Well, isn't everyone optimistic today? Yeah, yeah, just go. That was two birds with one stone. Well, <laughs> thanks. It was, you know, it was okay. just. You gotta admit, that was awesome. You have all these amazing ideas. You just need to say them. You really think so? Yeah, and then they can just get out. They, they kind of, when you have the monsters, they can just put them in the Thanks. I think I still have them. Um, Sure. Good, you found the spare. Let's go find Dante, film this thing, and get out of here. Yes. Hey, the film lights are on over there. But I thought Dante told us to meet him at the entrance. Whoa! That's big. Um, is that the lighting guy? Who cares who he is? He's getting in by a giant sock thing. I never meant anyone to die. One, two, Dante. I've been feeding the socks cola. Oh, well, great. So, you decided to feed someone to a giant sock monster, but hey, so long as it makes a great movie, Disaster, and I'm not really a big time director. What do you mean you're not a director? My name isn't Dante Stefan Lorenzo Rico Salvatore. It's 
Jim Bob Jefferson. And I'm not from uh, I'm not from Italia. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. You bought pixel around, forced her to stay in the library with monster socks, and you're not even a director. You are just pixel pitiful. Cheer up, Cheetos. Besides, I cure Arkansas great this time of year. Forget Arkansas. We still have a big problem. I know what we need to do. You gotta admit, that was awesome. You have all these amazing ideas. You just need to say them. Put a sock in it. I know the answer to our problem. It's the books. The socks can't touch books. Hank, you grab as many books as you can and distract the sock. Pixel, you can help too. Come on, people, let's go. That was awesome. The impending drama. The romance. I can taste the Oscar. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nice job, Bill. You did it with your awesome book powers. Well, what else am I supposed to use in the library? Okay. Thanks for staying at home with everything. Okay. Well, first off, I'd say that we've got my soft back. And second, who would have protected you from crimes in here? Those people. Um. <laughs> he said that I'm cool and, and, and he touched me. 